I hope to just let people know that they're not alone and that there are people here on campus supporting them. I want to empower people to speak up and tell their own stories and to let them know maybe the government right now doesn't support them, but we all do and we all can empower each other together. How many seas must a sweet dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? Yes, and how many times must a woman insist before she's seen as more than a thing? The answer, my friend, is blown. This week we have been told that no matter what trauma we endure, a man's reputation will always matter more. That even if we have worked our whole lives to bravely face the American public in order to stop a monster from being placed into the highest court in our nation, we will be greeted with death, death threats, mockery, disbelief, and it will have been for naught. On an institutional level, women's physical, mental, and emotional health has never mattered more than the man's reputation. When we gather here today to say that we are done, we will resist, and that is the most sincere promise we can make. I'm a feminist because I believe in women. I'm a feminist because I believe women. I believe survivors. I believe you. And despite the fact that if you behave at a job interview the way Brett Kavanaugh did, you wouldn't get hired at McDonald's, <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh is now Supreme Court Justice for life. How many voices does it take to trump one man's voice of denial? Three weeks ago, I was sexually assaulted. Tonight, I reported it. I am okay and steps are being taken to ensure my physical and emotional safety. This is a prevalent issue in today's society and I felt the need to share because I know there are others out there with similar and often worse stories. I don't remember much from my rape, but I do remember this. I felt like I was not allowed to say no to him. Yes, and how many deaths does I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this frankly. An accusation is not enough to put someone in the ground. And you should be thankful that you live in a country where you need to do Take the fuck out! Oh, wait, 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 no, no. This is a peaceful protest. Is it? I'm not being violent. Uh, yeah, I know, but we can talk about it later because this is about so, power so you women. Want no, no, no other opinions except for your own. No other opinions up your own? Um, as of right now, no, we don't. We don't want to okay, so here's something that you all need to hear. You will never learn anything unless you hear the opposite of what you believe. Do you believe me when I was eight? Like, I don't think you understand that this is a don't think between people. Would you please join me? I would like to talk to you. Yeah. Of course, he listens to another man. <laughs> I would still like to remind that this is a safe space regardless of what just happened. So if you still want to come up and speak, please do. Don't be mad at yourself for freezing. Don't be mad at yourself because you can't muffle the word no. I hear people say, it happened so long ago. Like, why are we still talking about it? If it happened so long ago. With Kavanaugh and other situations and I just want to say, it was over 10 years ago and it fucks with me every day. A message for the men out there and anywhere if you're listening, step up. We believe you all and if you ever need to make a report against a chairman faculty or a student here, we are here, you have a whole army behind you. But for me and my sisters, it's the end.